Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. It is a wonderful Monday, January the 24th, 2022. This is episode number 306 of your three business tips at three o'clock and in around three minutes. This week, this business week, we're talking about negotiations. We are in part three of a series Today, we're going to continue on Chris Voss's Never Split the Difference and talking about negotiating. Business owners, you negotiate everything and you need all the tools you can possibly have in order to work with your clients, work with your staff, work with your suppliers, as well as your services that you provide. Today, we're going to talk about the three yeses. We're going to talk about confirmation, commitment, and counterfeit. Three yeses. We always want to focus on yes as part of our negotiations. At least that's what we've been taught for the most part. So the first bullet point, the first business tip is a confirmation yes. You're familiar with this. We say this all the time. We've been conditioned to have those closing yeses where we say things like, in a confirmation yes, we say things like, does that make sense? Does that work for you? It's it's a redundant type of yes. It's a confirmation yes that you get with the person you're negotiating with in order to get a little bit of feedback. Business tip number two is what we go for in the close. It's called the commitment yes. And it's where we've been asking questions like at the end of a, maybe a website. So I might say, hey, can we move forward with this? How do you feel about starting today? May I have your credit card number? And then you pause and then just wait to see what happens. That is a second type of yes that you get in negotiations. But business tip number three is something that we're going to spend a little bit more time on and even do a whole other episode on. And it's what I refer to, it's actually what Chris Voss refers to, as the counterfeit yes. Now, let me hit the pause button a second. You will remember back in the 70s and 80s, as far as sales were concerned, we kind of had the whole concept of the Cyclopedia Britannica salesman, where he'd ask like 40 open-ended questions where the only answer was yes, in an effort to have you say yes so many times that by the time you came to the close, your head was on a bob when you pretty much said yes. That concept here now in 2020 and beyond is turned into a counterfeit. Most people are familiar with that. It's sort of that that concept doesn't work anymore. So when you ask a question, you know, do you have a few minutes where they already know what you are and they may say yes, but it's not a real yes. It's really a no. And the and the way around that, which we'll spend a whole series on uh, in next episode is what I refer to, uh, what Chris refers to as, as getting through the nose. And it's, instead of saying, do you have a few minutes, you would say, is now a bad time, where the correct answer is a no. Anyway, that's called the counterfeit yes. So in our negotiations, we're gonna talk about confirmation, we're gonna focus on commitment and counterfeits. That's what we're talking about in the three yeses. This is what I'm learning this week so that I can apply anything I learn, I throw over the fence to you because I want you guys to be awesome. Practicing.